Hey all, it's David Ducker coming back at you, and today I'm going to be talking about constructed languages, calm langs, and uh, RPGs. This video is inspired by, I just got a new player in, Scotty Diamond, the Diamond Stud, uh, coming in, and he has brought a character who speaks a different language from everyone else. Everyone else speaks Reichspiel, and his character speaks uh, Kazalid, the, which is the language of the dwarves. You know, what Kazalid in Reichspiel is Dwarven. That's the word, their translation of that word. Uh, and his people, the Kazad, uh, they translate that word to mean dwarf. So he's a dwarf, he speaks Dwarven. Uh, or if you ask him, he's, he's a Kazalid and he speaks Kazalad. You know, or wh whatever it is, my pronunciation uh, will be off. <laughs> but, but, the, but the point is, that the, the the words can convey very different meanings uh and you can have a lot of fun playing with that uh scotty's brought his character in and his character doesn't speak the same language so he actually went online he found a uh english to cause uh, a dictionary and he, he's got a list of words that his character can speak uh in, in actual you know actual uh Kazalid. So uh, he's slowly teaching the other players and their characters in character. He's teaching them that language. And it's really interesting. It makes some really interesting scenes. Um, you know, I've, I've never seen that done in, in gaming before. Uh, just for me. I'm sure it's been done. I just haven't seen it. And uh, it's bringing a lot of unique role-playing scenes and opportunities into that game. You know, I just actually had a character who's almost mute. Uh, Garena Sachs, the uh, the Amber Mage, the Beast Mage. You know, she is very physical. She communicates with her body language like an animal. She's a Beast Mage. She wants to be an animal, basically, and, she, and she's slowly becoming one. But uh, part of that is losing her her language ability. So she's very physical and, and uses body language to communicate, if at all possible. Uh, so that lack of language is also really interesting um, and you know I love like I said I love playing with the names that you're a Kazad you speak Kazalid but if you ask me you're a dwarf and you speak Dwarven and if you ask an, an elf you're a gnome and you speak gnomish that's how they translate uh, Kazad and Kazalid and then it works the other way too for an elf they don't call themselves elves they call themselves uh, the Eldar and the Eladrin and they're two different ethnic groups as far as they're concerned humans don't know that humans are all oh, they're just elves they're just all elves and the 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 uh eladrin are like don't compare us to the eldar and the eldar are like oh yes yes we'd love to be compared to the eladrin thank you and but it's this the language creates these distinctions and personifies them to some degree you know it's like i have uh the orcs are the uruk and the the goblins are also known as drow depending on the language that you're speaking. It's all the same thing. It's the same physical thing. But the word associated can really change the meaning for a lot of people. You know, if I say, oh, a drow rushes and, and attacks you, uh, an image comes into your mind. Uh, and, and if I describe that just with a different word, uh, if I say, oh, a goblin comes and rushes and attacks you, the image will be could be very different. In my game, it, it's it's the same image, uh, and the word doesn't really matter. But you can really play with that effect a lot. You know, I think we have uh, uh, ogres are also the orog, and uh, I don't think we've done anything else really fun with with language. We probably haven't. We just got a couple languages in, in the game, but uh, it, it does certainly add a lot of depth into it. You know, especially, you know, I love running into a character, and he doesn't speak very good English, but he speaks, like, uh, three other languages. So you're like, oh, this idiot, he doesn't speak English. You know, why can't you learn my language, son? And then you're traveling. You only speak English. You speak English very well, but that's the only language you speak. And you're walking through Europe, and this this guy who doesn't speak great English, but he speaks uh, fluent German and French and Spanish. And you're like, wow, he's, you know, I judged him based on his language, his one skill, that's how I judged him, and it was wrong. So I, I've done this man a disservice, or this woman. We had one player, actually, um, 
uh, Karina, and she was playing a, a, a lizard person, and uh, she represented the language of the lizard people with French, because she also, in real life, she speaks French, uh, and like five other languages, very smart girl, uh, but, you know, that was, that was interesting, just to, 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 to have that uh, other uh, auditory input there. You know, and I, I love playing with these things. I mean, it, it, it almost makes me wonder. Uh, you know, I've, I've posted my Monster Ecology series, and I gave them all the Tolkien names. You know, uh, the Goblin, the, uh, um, the and the Dwarf, let's say. If, if I change the name of those videos, if I change it to, oh, this is the Ecology of the Drow, and that's the Ecology of the Gnomes, uh, how would it change people's perceptions of those videos? Um... You know, it's very intriguing to me. So I'd, I'd love to hear. Uh, this is just a ramble. This is I saw something cool and I want to play with it. Uh, and this is what I've, I've I've done so far to play with it. Um, so it's not going to be one of those uh, uh, videos where I have a, like a really firm lesson uh, to teach you. Uh, but I, I certainly want to invite some conversation and tell me in English, please, because I'm monolingual in the real world, unfortunately. Uh, tell me in English, what have you seen with other languages uh, in your games? Have you constructed some? Have you used a real-world language to represent another uh, a fictional language? Um, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, leave that in the comments. Uh, I'm going to be signing off for right now, but I hope everybody has a good day out there in YouTube language.